Beating your brains out is never as gruesome as it seems. It's casual, occupying unassuming Sunday evenings, compulsory and routine like the heave of breathing. It almost feels like hope to arbitrarily discover, over and over, the humanity that you always deny yourself, lying on the floor, still breathing. Sometimes you wake and feel immersed in the state of equilibrium. Finding that forgiving yourself can be an act of revival. I am not what I tell myself I am. You want what was stolen from you. The red that made your blue turn purple. A drowned face just choked and bruised, still breathing, still beating. From afar, I had that reddish hue, that crimson glow that you were starving for. But you dug too deep, too fast, and realized that under my red sand was an ocean of blue, just like you. So I'll take my sharpest kitchen knife and drag it across my cheek, splitting open the seams that glue me together. I'll save my blood in a goblet for you, let it drip like heavenly nectar, and keep it warm near the small fireplace in that cold, empty room of our old house. I think there was a soundness within our misfortune, a quiet stability, always present, expressing what I never could. So drink up. I can bring you back to life, and I can be red if you want me to.